All right, guys, welcome to the DK Podcast Show. We're here for you today, and we want to talk a little bit about real estate. And I am Dustin. I'm the broker in charge over here at Man of Realty. This is my awesome shirt. I'm going to throw my own stuff in there. And this is this is my right-hand man, the uh, trash Kelton. guy over at uh, Man of Realty. Kelton General, soon to be a uh, provisional broker status. Yes, hopefully. yes. We're going to get him on the PV. So uh, I don't know if you noticed Real estate markets went crazy this year, dude. This went from we can't keep anything uh, uh, on the market to interest rates getting two extra points added to them and property sitting back like it used to, which I think is actually a good thing. That's oh, going me on. too. Yeah, so me- it weeds out some of the, the those agents that don't really do too much and and um, just just not good. Bad situation. for business realtors. Good, good way to label it. Yes, bad for for people who don't take it serious. Great for us other people out here. So uh, I was browsing, I was browsing the MLS and saw one come up in Charlotte. I thought it would be great for you for your first listing. For me, yes, yes. It um, it is listed. I think it's right under fifteen million dollars. Yeah, that would so be a good uh, it w- first it's, little. It's uh, Ricky Stenhouse sale. Jr. Do you even know who that is? Um, don't he race? He's a race car driver. He's better known as Danica Patrick's ex boyfriend. <laughs> hey, Danica Patrick, eh? Yeah. So, so um, he uh, he's winning. He's on putting his his house up on the market. So um, he is. Uh, I guess he's. I don't know where. He, I wonder where he's going to move to. It's like fifteen, sixteen million dollars. I don't know. So, did you see it in the news, though? Yeah, I'm looking at it right now on ESPN.com. Yes. Uh, I think it was owned by Ernie Irvin. You probably don't even know who that is, but he was a NASCAR driver before that. So, um, back in the day, too. Whenever I was little, he used to race. Uh, I think it's like 10,000 square foot. Let's do the math on the... What a commission check off that would be. Okay, you do the math off the commission do, check. I'm going to do the math right. off of a mortgage. All right, I'll do it off of um, commission. $15 million. At 15, that's 300. It's 45, 40, 480000 dollars for commission. Yeah, what is it? You just did it like I'm still working over here. It's not that hard. I need my I need my Is it fifteen or sixteen million? It's close to sixteen million. Okay. Let's just say they're going in over. Yeah. Four hundred eighty thousand dollars. Whap off one sale. Yes. That's how good I am at math in my head, by the way, people. I'm I'm any, still learning. Any it. real real realtors can tell you. For every hundred thousand dollars it's three thousand dollars in commission. A million dollars equals thirty thousand dollars. Thirty thousand dollars, so ten million would be three hundred thousand dollars. That's the way I did my math. Anyways, very quickly. Yes, uh, up to that point one day. Don't worry. Um, you want to know what's even crazier? Like it's ten thousand. What would you do with ten thousand square foot house? I have a lot of place to shoot some content. <laughs> that is and true. Party. <laughs> yes. What do you think the mortgage, the monthly mortgage, when I figured it up is? The monthly mortgage? It's just the mortgage, not including, like, utility bills, insurance, everything else. I don't know, like $100,000? It's close. It's $89,000 a month. That's insane. you got to be knocking on some bank to be paying that. A hundred grand. So that means that you would have to be making but how much a debt-to-income average- ratio. It would mean that you would have to be making, like, $350,000, dollars a month. So, like, wondering what his average income is, like, per month. His income? Well, I mean, how much you get paid for racing? Is that all on your wins? Because, I mean, I don't know nothing about it like that. Yeah, it's, it's not all wins. It's a lot of it's about endorsement deals. Um, and sponsors? Yes. Yeah. He, um, he most ra- racing drivers do, or race car drivers don't get paid a lot. I've actually met him a couple of times. So, um, I'm pointing up while we're sitting here. You know, all these ads and everything else, people don't really tell you whenever. 
You know what's like really crazy though, if you really think about something. So like most people like want to get into a job or something, right? Because like they think it's gonna like just that job's gonna make them a lot of money, right? So like, but the, what they don't realize is is like most of everybody's pay is shit around here. It's just what you do with that money that you make. I saw something the other day. It said that you, the more you get paid is is how good you can fix a situation. The more you get paid is how good you can fix a situation. Yeah, so the more complicated a situation is for you to be able to fix, yeah. you get paid more. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. So any issue that you – so it's the reason why taking the trash out, it's, you don't have to uh, – you don't get paid very much for that or anything if you work for around here. You, ask, you act like I care. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but he's a little bitty dude. I don't know how tall he is, but he's like short, short. Have you met him? Like, yeah, so uh, we played basketball together one day. Didn't you used to play in like a league with all them? Yeah. Uh, well, not. Uh, I played a couple weeks uh, as like a guest player um, for uh, Denny Hamlin's Hoop Group League. So that he, he created? Yes. Like? Yeah, and, and Stenhouse was playing in there. It was like him, Bubba Wallace, uh, Austin, Michael Waltrip. Um, I don't know who else, but some other, some other like race car, race car people, whatnot. And so went out there and, and played at, so Denny's got a, a basketball court in his house. In his house? Yes. It's in the peninsula of Lake Norman. It is. That's crazy. It's, it's pretty awesome. So it's, um. What's like the biggest house you think you've like been in or seen at Lake Norman? That's, that's the biggest one. Cause there's I, some fat whopping houses. So I've been in there. I've been in the two big ones. Um, I had a buddy. He he's passed away now, but uh, uh, he owned a sock company. A sock company. Yes, and he, I, I'm pretty sure he was in charge of putting the NBA logo on the socks, and so uh, he had a whopper big house he used to have uh chairman of the board or the embers wanted to i don't know the embers um come to his fourth of july party and play there uh every single year one year we uh we were doing karaoke all night long with um, the embers no just just randomly singing karaoke out there <clears throat> they put like just some random website puts stenhouse's net worth at 20 million dollars that That's can't be right. Jeez, how do you have a a sixteen million dollar house and then, um, yeah, and nothing else? Net worth twenty million. Yeah, that's not that's not legit at all. Um, says Denny Hamlin makes the most out of anybody. He made thirteen million dollars this year. That's crazy. Yeah, a lot of money to race a race car around. Uh, I try. $3 million is is what his salary is for this year. Is Stenhouse's. $3 million just off the year. Yeah, but that's... Dude, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of money. That's not that much if you're living in a... Yeah, in that house. In, yes. It, now, who knows what he paid for it, but, but man. You're yeah, saying, you also got to think that he when he bought the house, it was... The market was probably lower than what it is now. Yeah, but uh, that's 250 uh, So that's not making enough money. If he had to get a mortgage, he could not get a mortgage for that property at yeah. $3 million a year because that's only making $250,000 a year. His debt-to-income ratio would be right at the cusp of it. That's so stupid. So, um, But, yeah, those dudes are super competitive in those leagues. Like, you can bet on anything in those leagues. I bet. You come out there, and they've got custom uniforms made for that year. Um, when we when we played around here, uh, Mike Dillon, he, he bought his whole team uh, shoes. Um, and um, Tim Parker that owns uh, Washington Park Barbershop, he bought jumpsuits for his whole team. So uh, I played with my buddy, my buddy Ray, uh, Ray Wright. He was my, my uh, coach team captain, whatever you want to call it. He didn't know anything about basketball. We had a good time. We were pretty good back in the day. So I haven't played – I don't play with him now. So 
um, getting old and blows knees and not a lot of time and COVID hit and all that fun stuff. So I'm an on COVID. Uh, yes. Yes. But yeah, whenever you're betting on the, how many points I'm going to score, you got problems, people. Well, like, they they got money like they ain't got no problems. Well, so. some of them, it ain't all about, some of them are just like, just that competitive. So we had real referees, like everything was legit. So it was a good time though. Maybe, maybe See, we'll me, start playing again. Me, I wouldn't even like. Oh, there's some terrible play. people. You could, there's some people that you could play with too. It's uh, good exercise. Yeah. I, I broke a rib. Broke a rib? Yeah, jumping for a loose ball and broke a rib. So I ended up wearing like. Have like, you ever broke a bone? A rib is a bone, but yes, I broke many of bones. Like I, your own. Yeah, my dad tackled me in in the backyard playing flag foot or playing two hand tag football, and he tackled me and broke my leg in three spots. <laughs> yeah, uh, I broke my my right pinky finger. When I was in fifth or yeah fifth grade probably. I was playing catcher, caught one in the dirt, turned my finger sideways. Played the rest of the the game with the finger going sideways. Didn't I've tell never, anybody. Never broke a bone. Really? No. That's pretty impressive. I've never broke a bone, but I have had a couple concussions. Yeah, just a few here and there. Yeah. Um, I've had those too. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I have um, blew my knee out. To- <clears throat> I got total, a hole in my leg one time. Total quad replacement. How did you get a hole in your leg? Well. Uh, we were at, like, a party with my mom and dad. It was, like, a brick wall, and it was just, like, a little, like, stair step one, you know? Yeah. And, like, I was vertical in them, and my mom was like, don't do it. You're going to hurt yourself. And I was like, ah, oh, screw it. I'm going to do it. Well, I tried jumping up there, and my left foot made it up there, but my right one didn't. Turf and, monster got you. Nah, the side of the concrete. <laughs> and, like, my mom refused to take me to the hospital. And I you would, could, too. You can see my bone. Your mom's I mean, a I nurse. Yeah, I don't She's fine. Her. Yeah, that is true. She's like... She, you can fix it yourself. Listen, if y'all want to save some money, Mary, you could do something with a nurse in the family. Save yeah, some money. Exactly. Unless you're me, my sister, she'll send anybody to the hospital. Tell you you're dying too at the same time. She, yeah. She's that type. You can come. Yeah. All right. But um, I, I I've got a couple holes. Yeah, I got I got a hole in my leg. Where's uh, your hole at? Uh, in my quad. I got one in my quad. I got one in my knee. Uh, my knee, I uh, I ran into an electrical box at North Davidson Middle School. It was just like outside in the in the gym, like, like not even covered up. Like where at? Like it was on the pier in between, like where the wrestling mats used to sit back in the day, in that little room. That's oh, off to the yeah, gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a pole that's coming down, and it had a rough electrical. Uh, outlet right there and there was no padding around it and I ripped my pants I was just walking and ripped my pants open and uh, gashed open my knee and had to get stitches I also busted my head open playing uh, right here you can see my scar my scar right here um, I'm permanently sponsored by Nike with my scar on my head that's nice you don't see it <laughs> see it uh, mine was from playing partner tag me and my partner we were I think I was 7th grade year I like had a lot of injuries back at the at the middle school. He went one way, I went the other way. Just trying to jump over somebody that was on the ground. Uh, was about to tag me, and whenever I jumped, he pulled me, and I just landed straight on my head. And so, how to get that? You ever got your arm up. pulled out of socket? Nah, nah, never done any of that. Twice, I've had that done to me twice. Yeah, sounds sounds to me like you need some yoga. No, nah, it was my brother when I was young. Yeah, he used to like pull you... me around on a blanket, mm-hmm. but so like holding the blanket. Yanked on my arm, dude. Speaking of yanking around on people, I had a girl that we were really close friends, and she had a power wheelchair. We used to ride on her socks and and hold on to the <laughs> back of her power wheelchair, and she'd like just sling us around. It was quite do a fun. No, nah, she couldn't do a wheelie, but it was pretty close. So, um, but yeah, we had a good time. That was in high school. Um, yeah, so it was. I've had a lot of injuries. I'm also, pretty injury uh, pr- prone. I tell people if my wife didn't work with me, she would never believe I got these bruises from doing stuff around the office. Yeah. It, it's it's a lot. It's a lot. So I get hurt quite often by doing stupid stuff. 
What would you like? What do you think is the worst one? Like broken bone, like cut, like concussion. Like if you had to put one above all of. Them. Oh my my knee by far, by far. I'm still well, not that, over that. Well, that don't count. Like, Why not? That's because uh, that's too extreme. Like that, that, that's like major category. I'm talking about just like hurting category. Oh, uh, none of that stuff really bothers me. Like like just little cuts and gashes and and and. Broke bones, not that. I walked up from the back of my house to the to the top in the sixth grade, or se- it was in seventh grade. Uh, walked up to the top of the house whenever my dad broke my ankle. Dude, like so. the, the big injuries, like they don't hurt. No, but it's the little yeah, ones. Yeah, a stinking paper cut is way freaking worse. All the time at the office, somebody's like, "Can you get that off the printer?" And I'm like, "No," because I'm gonna cut myself. When I was sitting there writing my thank you card. Licking them? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. You mm. ever seen that video? Nipple, of, nipples uh, getting hard thinking about... You ever paper. seen that video of Steve-O mm-hmm. getting himself <laughs> yes, a paper cut? Oh, God. Oh, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Just the sound. It's like... Oh, oh that's that's <laughs> terrible. So he is he's a monster of a man to be able to do that. He's coming to Greensboro. Yeah. Steve-O is. Awesome. Maybe we'll go check him out. Yeah. But, yeah, I've had, I've had my fair share of injuries. I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon either. That's the best part. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, exactly. Go big early. Yeah. So send them. Full send, baby. Full so send. We need some, some ideas of stuff to go do that might get us injured or might not. I took a uh, – I've been chopping wood like I keep telling you all every single podcast. I took chopping a, wood. I've been uh, – Big John. I, I took a – Big Henry. <laughs> I took a piece of wood to the – to the uh, knee the other day, it left me a bruise about the size of a softball for like a week. It was amazing. It just shot off my my mall and uh, hit me right in the sh- um, in the knee. I kept going though. I was like like twenty five minutes of my workout. That's I what I'm gonna stop. That's what Paul Bunyan would do. Mm-hmm. Keep on going. Exactly. So Paul Bunyan meets the Grinch and the Hulk is what I am. The Grinch and the Hulk are still two different. Don't even get me started on <laughs> that again. They're the exact same. They're two different things. They're the exact same they person. Are two they're different just two. Things. It's like um, Disney movies where they like put them all together, and you don't realize that they're all connected one way or another. Yeah, maybe like the Despicable Me or something. This is Despicable Me. It's not Disney, first of all, and second of all. Well, you act like I watch it. Well, you should not. <sighs> Jeez. So tell me, you should watch the movie. Which which is your favorite Despicable Me movie? Let us know in the comments so he can watch that one first. What about some like, I don't know, American Sniper, like Saving Private Ryan? I'm, I'm okay like, with American Sniper. Or like so. Dunkirk or something. On, oh, what's that movie? Oh, he's on Debbie Does Dallas. No, he's oh. Not. oh my gosh. You oh. talking about then Hulk again? Or, or, or The Grinch? There's Neither. a couple Grinch movies. Neither. They're all decent. So, well, well uh, let's go hurt ourselves. Let's go find something to go do. We can end this podcast. I mean, I'm uh Let's go hurt ourselves. We'll find something. Well, let's not put it that way. People might start having concerns about it. You know us. what doesn't hurt anymore? I've done it so much. Belly flops. Belly flops? Well, belly flops do not hurt at all anymore. <laughs> I, Me and my buddy used to go on, like, the slide at the pool and sit there and, like, just like flex out and then just... <laughs> Like against the water, so you could go the many times we get about like thirty times. Yeah, that'd be hurting. Nah, it ain't that bad. After it's, a while, nah, they good. My boys would do them with you. Go up there and do one. Yeah, let's go. So let's go do some belly flops. So well, that's all we got for you because we got to go do some belly flops. Uh, he's got some belly flops. Yeah, to do. and Kevin's gonna sit on the side and be a sissified Tweety Bird. I can't get mine tattoo, you know. Yeah, can't. whatever. It's still healing. So, uh, yeah. We'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget. Oh, yeah. Send us what you want to hear. And, what is, what we, and send us a little thumbs up and a little share button would be greatly appreciated by everybody. Oh, yeah. All right. Later, boss. See you all.